You know, I find it a little bit unfortunate that neutron stars, or pulsars, or magnetars, as they're also known, don't really get as much credit as, say, black holes. Because these fascinating objects are actually really awesome, and in the last year or so, we made some incredible discoveries that were unfortunately overshadowed by other events. And today I wanted to summarize some of the coolest things we've discovered in the last 10 or so months, basically in the year 2018, about these wonderful objects. Welcome to What The Math. So this right here is actually the closest neutron star to our solar system at a distance of about 600 or so light years away from us. Now we're not really talking about this object particularly, but we are talking about neutron stars in general. And I'm going to basically talk about some of the most incredible discoveries of 2018. But before I start very briefly, so what exactly is a neutron star? Well, different stars produce different objects after those stars essentially finish their lives. For the most part, most stars, like these uh, red dwarfs or stars similar to our sun, will simply end up as a white dwarf, an object that's about the size of a planet but has a uh, mass similar to a star. But the larger stars, especially stars like Spica right here, will end up producing a neutron star. And if a star is even larger, or actually a better term is more massive, like for example R136A1 here, which is the most massive star known to us, it will then produce a black hole. But the neutron stars are surprisingly interesting. They're actually really, really cool objects, and there's a very high chance they will be responsible for serving as the uh, so-called navigation beacons when we start exploring the stars. So, what exactly have we discovered? Well, the first discovery is actually about how massive these wonderful objects can become. Uh, for the longest time, we thought that their maximum mass is probably around 2.1 masses of, of the Sun. And uh, very recently, actually, um, and you may have already seen this video, we found the um, heaviest or the most massive uh, neutron star, which is about uh, 2.5 masses of the Sun. As you can see, this particular uh, neutron star is only about 1.8. Now, this is so far the record. But a very recent study discovered that this mass is actually much higher. As a matter of fact, the limit for a neutron star is probably way higher than we thought before. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, what was done was well, actually kind of interesting. The scientists bombarded various protons and neutrons with highly energetic particles and discovered that the maximum pressure inside the uh, proton or a neutron um, can actually be much higher than previously thought. What this implies is that you can actually compress neutron star even more and it will still be there. It will not explode, it will not turn into a black hole, it will still be around. Now, we don't really have a number just yet, but it's going to be much, much higher than the previous assumption of 2.5 masses of the star and it might even go into uh, double digits. So in other words, one day we might discover a tremendously massive neutron star, but remember, with neutron stars, the more massive it is, the smaller its size is going to be. So this is actually kind of interesting. Oh, and by the way, uh, the pressure inside a typical neutron star is around uh, 10 decillion pascal. That's basically 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 34 pascal. That's ridiculously high because the pressure of atmosphere on the planet Earth, as you can see right here, is only about 100,000 pascal. So there's a lot more zeros inside a neutron star. The second discovery um, is from a few months ago when the scientists were actually able to um, simulate and analyze what happens inside a neutron star, and they discovered that it has different layers. And those layers, for some reason, resembled, well, different types of pasta. I'm guessing it's because the scientists were really hungry when they were working on this, but they basically named those layers after different types of spaghetti and pasta. And interestingly, they also discovered that these layers create some of the strongest material in the universe. It's about 10 billion times stronger than steel. But unfortunately, it's also unstable. So if you take it out of neutron stars, um, it's not going to survive. It's actually going to create a tremendously large explosion. So it's not really useful, but I guess cool to know that basically neutron stars contain some of the most incredibly strong material in the universe. And also how cool is it to know that now we have lasagna inside a neutron star. Next time you think about a pulsar, think lasagna. 
Another recent discovery uh, comes from scientists using Hubble telescope and they found out that there's actually a neutron star out there that for some reason produces quite a lot of infrared light, which is a little bit unusual. As a matter of fact, we've never seen a neutron star and we found about 2000 of them producing infrared light and so they assume that it might come from one of two events. One of them is probably related to just a bunch of stellar dust that's circulating around the neutron star and that dust, um, because of the interaction, emits heat, infrared light. Uh, on the other hand, it's also possible that because it moves so fast, it actually moves faster than essentially the speed of sound inside this gas, and that creates these um, unusual shock effects that we, is what maybe we're seeing. So we still don't really know what we saw, but we definitely saw this, and uh, what's interesting is that this here is a very, very large distance. It's something like 200 astronomical units, which is basically 200 times the distance of Earth to the Sun. It's basically a super, super large amount of infrared light. And then, a few more months ago, we essentially discovered something else unusual that kind of actually uh, discredited one of the theories we had. So, here's what a jet looks like coming off a typical neutron star. Although I personally like this simulation a little bit better, this is Taylor and Hulse, uh, basically a very realistic representation of these two neutron stars that are a few thousand light years away from Earth. And, as you can see, they have jets coming off the um, actual, well, two directions, really. Uh, we still don't really understand what forms the jets. As a matter of fact, there is really no explanation for how they form. But we know that they, um, they relate to magnetic field. And, as a matter of fact, uh, some of the strongest magnetic field neutron stars, also known as magnetars, never really produce these jets. Now, we don't know why, but we think that it's because these jets are produced in some other way and magnetic field destroys them. But that was until now. And now what happened was the scientists actually discovered that there is a neutron star out there that is actually producing these jets, even though it, it's a magnetar. It's an extremely, extremely powerful magnet. And this basically erased that one theory that we had about how these jets are generated, because that just means we were wrong. So in this particular example, um, what we have is a neutron star orbiting a very fast spinning star. and. It essentially collects um, dust as it orbits around the star, and later on this dust kind of accelerates, comes closer and closer to the neutron star, and you'll see this in a few seconds in this particular simulation, um, and eventually this dust actually, through the magnetic interaction, uh, shoots out from two directions. So essentially the magnetic lines that you see forming around the neutron star cause various particles to shoot out from these two directions, but we always thought that this had to be much weaker, magnetically speaking, a uh, neutron star. But turns out we were wrong, because this star is extremely powerful, and it creates jets nevertheless. Now, interestingly though, um, in terms of the actual jet power, this is about 100 times weaker than a typical neutron star, so the magnetic field does actually kind of weaken the... Um, the strength of the actual jet. And by the way, this video was created by these wonderful people from these two universities. Although, nevertheless, we still are not really sure how it's even possible. So, in that sense, we're back to uh, drawing board. We have to figure out what's going on and I guess we find those theories a little bit. And lastly, the last major discovery was the first neutron star we actually detected outside of our uh, galaxy. And this is actually kind of impressive because neutron stars are not very easy to see. And this was in the nearby galaxy of Small Magellanic Cloud which, in relation to our own galaxy, the Milky Way that you see right here on the screen, is... is... somewhere... somewhere... somewhere right here. There it is. This little uh, piece that you see right there. This is a small Magellanic Cloud. It's a relatively small galaxy, I mean, if you basically try to compare sizes. Uh, but inside of this galaxy, we discovered a supernova, and uh, this particular supernova had a neutron star in it unofficially referred to as E0102, and um, we basically are very excited to discover this because it's kind of hard to find them. Although unofficially, this is technically the second uh, neutron star we discovered outside of our solar system because, as you may have seen in the previous video, we also discovered the first ever neutron star was actually created pretty much in front of our eyes, but we didn't really see the actual star. We only saw the effects and we implied that there was a neutron star. Here, however, we saw the star itself. And so in that sense, technically this is the first neutron star. 
In any case though, that's really all I wanted to explain in this video and hopefully now you may know a little bit more about the new discoveries of these wonderful objects. They're actually absolutely incredible and as a matter of fact, I personally love them a lot more than black holes for example. I don't know why black holes get all the credit all the time. Neutron stars are definitely what's going to transform um, us as a species because they have a lot of really useful mysteries that will help us understand the universe and also teach us a lot of new cool concepts um, in the next few decades or so. For now though, that's all I wanted to show you in this video and hopefully now you know a little bit more about space, universe and of course the neutron stars as well. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space through simulations and video games and come back tomorrow to learn something else and maybe support this channel on Patreon because you know, it does help me a lot. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out and as always, bye bye.